Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome to Dr. Zahir Math. If you like my videos, please subscribe and click the bell icon for updates on new videos. In this video, I'm going to teach you the topic 10.1. I will explain it step by step to make it easy for you to understand. Follow along and write down the key points side by side. If you find this explanation helpful, please like this video. Leave your comments or feedback in the comments below. Let's start 10.1. 10.1 topic is curves defined by parametric equations. Everybody knows what is curve, right? So curve is nothing but this one, right? And it is defined by parametric equations. So let me tell you, as I said in the class, parametric equation means you have two equations, x is equal to f of t and y is equal to g of t. There are two equations that means parametric equation x equals and y equals okay and x is a function on t and y is a function on t it means x and y are functions of one variable those type of equations are called parametric equations right so now what we are going to do we are going to discuss about the parametric equations so once i get the equation what types of curves we will get it so that topic is called Curves defined by parametric equations. Let's go to the first question. For the given parametric equations, right, find the points x, comma, y. So you are going to find the points x, comma, y corresponding to the parameter values, parameter values t equals minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. For x equals t square plus t and y equals 3t plus 1. So let me take the values t equals, right, and the equation is x square equals t square plus t and then y equals 3 to the power of t plus 1 and then we are going to calculate x comma y. Okay, right. So let's start the question. Okay, solution. Right. Now what are the t values we have? Minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. So let's make a table, right. So is... These are the values. Let's make a table, right? Okay, right. Now I'm going to put the t values over x and over y, right? Just take the calculator, right? In the calculator, what you're going to do, you're going to type the equations x equals t squared plus t. There is no t in the calculator. So what you're going to do, you're going to use alpha x, okay, right? So just type x squared plus x. After that, press the button calculate. Then the calculator will ask you x equals question mark. Once it asks x equals question mark, just type the value minus 2 and press equal sign. Okay, right. When you press equal sign, you will get 2. Then again press calc, press minus 1, you get the answer 0. Again press calc and then press 0, press equal sign, you will get 0. Then again press calc, press x is equal to 1 and then press equal, you will get 2. Then again press calc, press x is equal to 2, you will get the value 6. Similarly, type the equation in the calculator 3 to the power of alpha x plus 1. Okay, there is no t, again I am telling only x. So 3 to the power of x plus 1. So what happens? Again the same method, you are going to press the calc and then press x is equal to x is equal to minus t you press if you press you will get 1 over 3 or 0 0.333 something like that again press calc press x is equal to minus 1 you will get the answer 1 again press calc x is equal to 0 you are going to get the answer 3 again press calc okay press x is equal to 1 you are going to get the answer 9 again press calc and then press x is equal to 2 you are going to get the answer 27 so now we got the x values and y values let us write in the order pair form order pair means x comma y so let's write 2 comma 1 by 3 and 0 comma 1 then 0 comma 3 and then 2 comma 9 okay then it's 0 comma 27 okay right let me read the question again for the given parametric equation find the points x comma y corresponding to the parameter values t equals minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 for this parametric equation so we just calculated the points x comma y so all these points are x comma y understand 
So that's all this question. Let's go to the second question. The second question is sketch the curve by using the parametric equations to plot the points. So please underline the word sketch. We are going to sketch. What do you mean by sketch? Sketch means draw, right? So we are going to sketch the curve, right? By using the parametric equation. What is the parametric equation? X equals 1 minus t square. Y equals 2 t minus t square. And the t value lies between what? Minus 1 to 2, right? Then after that, there is a question is given. Indicate with an arrow the direction in which the curve is traced as t increases. So we are going to indicate with an arrow. Just keep in your mind. I'll explain while doing the solution. So there is a word plot also, right? So overall, the question is what? Sketch. Let me ask you one question. If you want to do the sketch, first thing is what? You need to find the points, right? You need to find the points what? X comma Y. If you want to find the points X comma Y, it means what? You need the table. So first create the table. What you have to do? First create the table, right? What we created over here. This is the table we created. So once you created the table, automatically then we'll get the points X comma Y, right? So once you get X comma Y, then we are going to plot the points. Plot means just put the points in the X, Y plane. Okay. So once you put the points, then automatically you are going to draw the curve, right? Yes. So let's start the question. I will start to put the table T value. Okay. Right. And X value is 1 minus T square. Right. And Y is equal to 2T minus T square. Okay. Right. And then we are going to write x comma y. Okay, right. So t value lies between. You can see that t value lies between one minus 1 and 2. It means minus 1 is included and 2 is also included. So let me take minus 1 and then 0, then 1 and then 2. So let's create a table first. Okay, right. So let's create the table. Okay. Now we'll start finding the table values, right? Okay. Now the same manner I told you how to find using the calculator. You are going to type x is equal to 1 minus t square, but there is no t in the calculator. Just type 1 minus alpha x square and then start pressing x is equal to minus 1 and then x is equal to 0, then x is equal to 1, then x is equal to 2. You are going to put the values. Once you put the values, we are going to get the value, right, from the calculator. So what values? When I put minus 1, I'll get 0. When I put 0, I'll get 1. When I put 1, I'll get 0. When I put 2, I'll get the value minus 3. Similarly, you type the equation 2x minus x square in the calculator and put x is equal to minus 1, I will get minus 3. Put x is equal to 0, I'll get 0. Put x is equal to 1, I'll get 1. And put x is equal to 2, I get 0. So once I get all these values, I'm going to write in the ordered pair. Ordered pair means x comma y. This is called ordered pair. Okay, right. So I'm going to write in the model x comma y. So what happens? It is 0 comma minus 3, right? And 1 comma 0, then 0 comma 1 and minus 3 comma 0. So what is the next thing I'm going to do? I'm going to draw the sketch. What I'm going to do? I'm going to draw the sketch. Let's start the values X and Y values. Okay, right. Yes. So this is your X axis and this is your Y axis. Okay, right. Look at the X values maximum. Look at the X values here. So the X values goes maximum. It's positive 1 and negative minus 3. Okay, yeah. positive 1 and negative is what? Minus 3. So I'm going to put it, it is 0, okay, and this is 1, and this is minus 1, this is minus 2, and this is minus 3. Look at the y values, okay, right. When you see the y values, it goes maximum in the positive direction is 1. So I'll put it as 1. In the negative direction, it goes minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So it goes 3 points down. So let's start putting these values. In English, we call it as plot the points. So the first point is, right, 0 comma minus 3. So this is the first point, 0 comma minus 3. The next point is 1 comma 0. So 1 comma 0 is this point, okay, right. The next point is 0 comma 1 is this point. 
the last point is minus 3 comma 0 is this point okay right so now we are going to draw the curve so why we are going to draw the curve in the equation itself it is given sketch the curve also you can check the power of equation is not 1 it is not linear so definitely you won't get straight line you will get only curves so I'm going to draw the curve the curve is of the model like this but I don't know whether I'm getting perfect model or not let me see okay this is the model okay right so this is the equation this is the curve okay right now look at one more question indicate with an arrow can you see that in which the curve is traced as t increases t increases from minus 1 0 1 2 okay so when it is minus 1 the value is this one when it is 0 the value is this one it means that t increases as t increases the curve goes like this so this is the way i'm going to mark the arrow mark right so in this way the curve is moving so that's what I told you indicate with an arrow arrow means this one showing the directions like this this is called arrow okay right so indicate with an arrow the direction in which the curve is traced as t increases I hope it is very clear let's go to the next question what curve is represented by the following parametric equations read the question carefully what curve is represented what is that what curve is represented by the following parametric equations so parametric equations is given but you are going to get the curve curve means what you are going to get the equation in terms of x and y you are going to get the equation is what in terms of x and y right so i have the parametric equation x equals cosine t and the para another equation is y equals sine t okay right when i look at this equations when I look at this equation, when I see cosine and sine, we have a famous equation which you studied in 002. What is that equation? 002 means math 002. Okay, right. We studied cosine square theta plus sine square theta is equal to what? 1. Okay. So, I am going to use this idea. Cosine square theta plus sine square theta. This idea, I am going to use it. So, if I want to get cosine square, if I want to get sine square, what I should do? I need to square this equation. So, let me square left hand side is x square. Right hand side, if I square, it is cosine square t. And left hand side, I square, it is y square. And right hand side, if I square, it will be sine square t. So, what I am going to do? I am going to add. So, these two equations, I am going to add plus. Okay, right. So, the left hand side is x square. And here the left hand side is y square I'm going to add which is equal to right hand side I'm adding cosine square t and plus sine square t is it okay right now x square plus y square is equal to cosine square t plus sine square t is equal to what 1 so what I said before starting the question before starting the solution sorry what curve you're going to get so you're going to get the equation in terms of what x and y so we got the equation x square plus y square is equal to 1 which is also again a famous equation this is equation of a circle right so this is the equation of circle right with center 0 comma 0 and radius is equal to r units which is r is equal to 1 that is r square is equal to 1 so r is equal to plus or minus 1 but negative will not come because it's a radius so r is equal to 1 okay now the question comes in the mind teacher first question you created a table so you show us you showed us how to create a table the second question you showed us how to draw a sketch that means how to sketch a curve right for that we just created the table and with the help of the points right with the help of these points right we just draw the curve now you also have the same questions we have x equals cosine theta we have y equals sine theta and the t value is given but you did not create any table what i'm saying understand you did not create any table and without creating you use the idea of squares so x square equals cosine square y square equals sine square and then use the formula cosine square plus sine square is equal to 1 you got the curve equation which is x square plus y square is equal to 1 which is a circle why the question is yes we can also create a table to draw the circle also 
But being a pi, you will make mistakes. Therefore, I am using this standard equation. If you want, you can create it like that. You just take the values of t and you write the parametric equation x equals cosine t and y equals sine t. Okay, right. And then the points come as x comma y. Okay, so here in the number, all the t values which I given, which is on the values which is given in the table, right? So easy to plot. But when it comes with the radian meshes, you should be very careful. So when you see the circle equation, look here everybody, this is the circle equation. This is your 0 and this is your pi by 2. This is your pi and this is 3 pi by 2 and this is equal to 2 pi. So if you want to create the table, please create the table with these values. For example, 0 and pi by 2, okay, and then pi and then 3 pi by 2 and then 2 pi. Create with these values, then definitely you will get the table values. With the table values, you can draw the circle. Understand? Right. Thank you. Now, let's go to the next question. So, the next question also the same one. Sketch the curve. But the previous question is not same. Which is not sketch. Which is find the curve. Now, here you have to find the curve. After that, you have to sketch. With the parametric equation, x equals sine t and y equals sine square t. Okay. So, what is the parametric equation? x equals sine t. Okay. And y equals sine square t. This is your parametric equation. Is there any t values given? No. Nothing. The t value is missing. Okay. Right. T values is not there. Okay. Right. So, in this situation, what we are going to do? When you get a situation sine theta or cosine theta okay with as power as 1 in one place and the second equation as power as 2 or in the first equation power as 2 in the second equation power as 1 if this is the case you remember four types of parabola equation four types of parabola equation again which you studied in math 002 what are the types of parabola if you draw this one this equation is y square equals x. The next one is this one which is y square equals negative x because on the opposite side. The next equation is this one. This is x square equals y. And the next one is this one which is x square equals negative y. Look at the equation. y is power 2, x is power 1. y is power 2, x is power 1. There is a negative sign. x is power 2 and y is power 1. And x is power 2, y is power 1 with the negative sign. Here also you look, look here everybody. Here its power is 1 and here power is 2. So when there is power 1 and power 2, you need to think about this 4 curves. Right. So how to bring it to this 4 type of equation with any 1. Okay. Right. So look the equation. Here y we have sine square t. Okay. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write it as sine t the whole square. We can write sine square t as sine t whole square. What is sine t from this equation? So sine t is equal to x. So I'm going to put x after that this square will come. So y equals x square, right? So y equals x square is a parabola. Just now I told you it's a parabola. Okay, right. So we have parabola number one and 2 and 3 and 4. So which parabola comes for this type of equation which is number 3. So the question is you are going to sketch right. So we are going to sketch this parabola x square equals y. So this is your parabola x square equals y. So keep in your mind in the parametric equation if one side of the equation with a sine theta or cosine theta okay as power 1 the next side is power 2 if power 1 power 2 is coming then automatically it will be the same trigonometric function it can be sine or it can be cosine so one side sine one side cosine will not come so keep in your mind so in this way you have to remember the four types of parabola equation so that's it you are 10.1 okay right thank you for watching my video okay if you have any questions Please leave your comments section. Please leave your feedback, sorry, in the comment section. Okay, right. So that's all for today's video. I hope this explanation helped you to understand the concept better. Don't forget to like and share the video with others who might benefit from it. Thank you for watching Dr. Zahir Math. 
See you in the next video. Stay safe and keep learning.